Hey guys, welcome back. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Nick. This is my mom, Jen. Hi again, guys. And our next Tarantino film is Django Unchained. So have you heard anything about this one? Just or? that name, and I always want to say Django, but that's not right. <laughs> yeah, from, from what I understand, there was a, I think it was a spaghetti western back in like the 60s. Oh. Uh, with like Django as like a main character. Ah, okay. um, And then I think like this film is kind of like an homage to, to that one. Because Tarantino loves his, his old he does stuff, love right? his classics, yeah. yeah, like like old kung fu movies, like we yeah, saw with Kill Bill, yeah. or sword, sword fighting, bits and pieces, eh, through his westerns movies. and yeah. crime thrillers, and yeah, yep. So last movie was kind of like an ensemble with like a wide cast of main characters. Death, death proof, uh, Inglorious Bastards. Oh, Inglorious Bastards, right? Yep. You've already purged it from your memory. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like that one. That was really yeah, good. Yeah, really and then like this one is a little bit, a little bit uh, smaller, more kind of focused cast. Uh, so the two leads are played by Jamie Fox. Oh. And the other is played by Christoph Waltz. Oh, good God. You get more of him. <laughs> <laughs> I know you love him. I, and he's a great actor. He's, he's fantastic. Just, yeah, he yeah. just traumatizes me. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, last time we saw him in his uh, Oscar winning performance as Hans Landa, which is a, was, a pretty fantastic yeah, character. Yeah, that was that was really good. Ooh, that's a bingo. <laughs> yeah. Is that how you say it? That's a bingo? Yeah, just say bingo. Ooh, bingo. How fun. <laughs> like, he's, he, like he can make you laugh and terrify yeah. you in the same same movie. Because he could switch, right? Yes. Change yeah, he's, he's fantastic. Stuff, yeah. So yeah. Back... Oh, okay. Why did I think Josh Brolin was in this one? Okay. No. All right. No. No. I, I know you. I know you enjoy him, but <laughs> that's not that. Yeah. But yeah, this is a, more like a like a western, like I say, based on the sort okay. of spaghetti westerns of back in the day. And uh, fair warning, this is quite brutal in certain parts, okay. even for a Tarantino film. Okay. So just to kind of give you a heads up then on that one. I'll tell my hand. Get ready. Yes, <laughs> old okay. friend. Yeah. But no, I mean Jamie Fox and and you know Tarantino like. Regardless of like the violence and everything, like he's one of one of those directors who just gets like great performances out of every oh, single yeah. actor he works oh, yeah. with. He's a really great like yeah like performer, like an actor's director that mm -hmm. way. So so yeah. from what I've seen so far, I totally agree. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So yeah, without further ado, let's check it out. Is that a real song? Like a something for the movie or for? Ah, uh, yeah. I mean, probably. Mm hmm. Carrie Washington and Samuel L. Jackson. Did you see the other name that they showed? No. Leo DiCaprio. Really? Oh, there he is. Mm hmm. I like the implication of the name, though. Unchained. Yep. That's a neat scene, eh? Through the trees like that. Mm hmm. All the frost on yeah. the branches. And... Who's that stumbling around in the dark? Calm yourselves, gentlemen. I mean you no harm. There he is. Yeah. Who wants to know? Well, I do. I'm Dr. King Schultz. This is my horse, Fritz. <laughs> you don't usually introduce your horse. So you kind of like... Yeah. <laughs> is there one amongst you who was formerly a resident of the Karukan Plantation? I'm from the Karukan Plantation. What's your name? Django. Oh. Then you're exactly the one I'm looking for. Do you know who the Brittle Brothers are? If you were to see any of these three gentlemen again, would you recognize them? Last chance, fancy pants. Hmm. No. You recognize who that guy is? Which movie? Oh! oh, oh. oh. Mm. What the hell? That's He's a good, got the horse, too. A good way to break his legs. I'm sorry to put a bullet in your beast, but I didn't want you to do anything rash before you had a moment it's to keep your sense. up. <laughs> yeah. No doubt. Now, uh, if you could keep your caterwauling down to a minimum, I'd like to finish my line of inquiry with young Jack. <laughs> could you hold this for a moment? Oh. Uh -huh. <laughs> do you re oh. The last guy, did you recognize him? From, Eddie, from um, Eddie Murphy, Beverly Hills Cop. He was the friend that got shot in the hallway. Oh, yeah. okay. You gentlemen have two choices. One, once I'm gone, you could lift that beast off the remaining speck, then carry him to the nearest town, which would be at least 37 miles back the way you can. <laughs> you could unshackle yourselves, take that rifle, put a bullet in his head, bury the two of them deep, Good idea. Oh, and on the off chance there are any astronomy aficionados amongst you. <laughs> astronomy aficionados. Ta-ta. Yeah. I like him so far in this one. Yeah. 
Oh, Jesus. Yeah, it didn't take them long to make their choice. Yep. <laughs> Tooth on the top, Jesus. <laughs> Uh, so he's like a traveling dentist, I guess. Yeah, I guess you'd go from town to town. You wouldn't maybe. No practice days, or no. Yeah, there's not enough people to. Yeah. And then in the morning. He's bigger on the horse. What's he saying? The sheriff is near. Yeah. <laughs> Good morning, innkeeper. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell you think you're doing, boy? Get that nigger out of here! Despite that cart, I haven't practiced dentistry in five years. But these days, I practice a new profession. Bounty hunter. Oh. The state play- <laughs> His face probably never tasted that before. Okay. I would like the two of us to enter into an agreement. I'm looking for the Brittle Brothers. You point them out, and I kill them. Did you do that? I agreed to give you your freedom. $25 per Brittle Brother. <laughs> okay, boys. Fun's over. Come on out. You ain't got nothing better to do than to come into Bill Shop's town and show your ass. Shot the sheriff. But he didn't shoot the deputy. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> oh, Jesus. <laughs> yeah. Somebody fainted. Move that buckboard long ways across the street from the saloon. I want six men, six rifles behind it. Oh, that's, um... <laughs> you in the saloon. We got a hundred rifles aimed at every way out of that building. Just as you have instructed, I am ready to step outside with my hands raised. What's he up to? There are little tents out there. So don't what? make any quick movements and let me do the talking. He's just delightful. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Marshal Tatum, may I address you and your deputies and apparently the entire town of Daughtry? Oh, the sheriff is one of his bounties, maybe, or something. The man lying dead in the dirt, who the good people of Daughtry saw fit to elect as their sheriff. Oh, yeah. I know this because three years ago, he was rustling. Oh, nicely done. In other words, Marshal, you owe me $200. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> yep. You'll be a free man. The horse, $75 in your back pocket. What's your plan after that? Buy my wife. Buy freedom. Django, Django. But you got sand, Django. Ah. Uh. Yep. I want you to burn a runaway eye right here in his cheek. And the girl, too. Greenville auction. And sell him. Separately. Ugh. Piece of shit. Mm-hmm. Were her owners German? Yeah, you know. Uh, Your slave wife speaks German and her name is Brunhilde von Schaft. <laughs> they mm. call me Hildy. Oh, that's... Uh, Kerry Washington. Yeah. When we gain access to these plantations, we'll be putting on an act. Mm -hmm. You can never break character. <laughs> Oh my god, what did he choose to throw back? <laughs> oh, there's Don Johnson. With his best Colonel Sanders impression. Yeah. <laughs> I think there's a very famous painting they're going There is, Blue here. Boy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> my name is Dr. King Schultz. This is my valet, Django. And these are our horses, Tony and Fritz. <laughs> He's introducing the horse. <laughs> I love Fritz. Yeah. <laughs> like, how do you do? Yeah. <laughs> I have. 5,000 things I might say that could change your mind. Well, come on inside and get... There you go. <laughs> Money talks, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Hmm. Django isn't a slave. Oh, Django is a free man, you understand? You want I should treat him like white folks? No. <laughs> uh. 
Then I don't know what you want, Big Daddy. Yeah. Yes. I can see that. <laughs> all the loopholes and treat the... him like a person. I person, know. Person is all. It's such a ridiculous idea. Oh. What you do for your master? Didn't you hear him tell you I ain't no slaves? So you really free? Yes, I was free. You mean you want to dress like that? <laughs> Uh, what you want? I'm looking for three white men. They could be using a different name. They would have come to the plantation this past year. You mean the Schaefers? Maybe. That's all we need, Jack. I like the way you bag, boy. <laughs> One of them, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Hey, give me that one! You better give me that one! You better... And after this, we'll see if you break eggs. Missiles. Mm-hmm. John Brill! <laughs> I like the way you die, boy. Yeah. <laughs> That's too good for him, though. Mm. Should have shot him in the balls first, and then... Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, jeez. <laughs> there we go. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. How does it feel now? Is that... You must have learned how to use a whip, right? Because I think those are a little bit tricky to use. Yes. Ah! Yeah. Uh-oh, who's here with the gun? On a horse. Oh, big daddy. Wait. No, it's no. King Schultz. Oh, oh, oh. You sure that's him? Yeah. Positive? I don't know. You don't know if you're positive? I don't know what positive means. It means you're sure. Yes. Yes what? Yes, I'm sure that's Ellis Brittle. Oh. oh, blood on the cotton. Yeah, nice bit of symbolism there. Yeah, really. Oh, <laughs> like a little safe. Yeah, that dynamite. Or... Oh, that guy on the left. And on the right. Yeah. Jonah Hill. Oh, Jonah Hill. Yeah. Let's see. <clears throat> wow, all kinds of people in these movies, eh? Yeah. Oh my God. Mm-hmm. Oh. Yep, the picture of civilized behavior. Oh, but he put some dynamite or something in the tooth. Because it's weird that it's kind of weird that it would camp out in the open like that. Hmm. Damn. I can't see fucking shit out of this thing. <laughs> <laughs> Who made this goddamn shit? Willard's wife. You make your own goddamn mind. Willard's wife. <laughs> Nobody's saying they don't appreciate what Jenny did. <laughs> Can you see? Not too good. I mean, if I don't move my head, I can see you pretty good. Oh, well, shit fire! <laughs> if you don't wear them as you ride up, that just defeats the purpose. Well, I can't see in this fucking thing! <laughs> Fuck all y'all, I'm going home! Now I watched my wife work all day, get 30 bags together for you ungrateful sons of bitch. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, oh, it's good. Funniest scene in the movie. I think we all think the bag was a nice idea. Yeah. He's putting it back not, on. Not pointing in the fingers. <laughs> they could have been done better. Uh, God damn it! This is a raid! Oh, uh, Jesus. So what? All that matters is can the fucking horse see? That's uh -huh. a raid! Can the horse see? Oh, he does in. Oh, lovely. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Let him do it. Yeah. Would you care to? Oh, yes, please. Oh, that was neat, eh? Ooh. Mm-hmm. Red all over the horse. I thought you was mad at me for killing Big John and Little Raj. Yeah, on that occasion you were tad overzealous, but normally that's a good thing. How'd you Tad. like your partner for the winter? 
So we make some money this winter. And when the snow melts, I'll take you to Greenville myself. And we'll find where they sent your wife. Yeah, I was going to say, because they, they found the three guys real quick. Movie over? Or... Like the pine trees lining the winding road. Oh, Jim Croce, love the music. <laughs> I've got a name. New saddle and yeah. new get up. Looking good. Another <clears> one <throat> taken too soon in a plane crash. Jim Croce. <laughs> Ooh, what happened to Miss Star? I want to shoot white folks for money. This is about today's lesson. One, dead or alive. Dandy Michaels, Joe Nash, and Crazy Craig. <laughs> so do you remember um, Christopher Walken in Pulp Fiction? Yeah. His character's name was Colonel Coons. Uh, so Crazy Craig is like an ancestor. One of my ancestors. Okay. Now quit your pussy for a <laughs> <laughs> Boy giggles because he doesn't realize he's playing around. Here. You need to keep this smitty we call handbill. Why? Wow. It's good luck. Mm. You always keep the handbill of your first bounty. Hmm. So far, there's no feet. <laughs> yeah. Give it time. Hasn't been a lot of women around, though, to show their feet, I guess. Wow, he's good, eh? Yeah, the kid's a natural. Yeah. Mississippi. Disgusting, right? Like just. Yep. The last movie had Nazis, but somehow it was less brutal than this. Yeah. Calvin Candy. He owns the fourth biggest cotton plantation in Mississippi, Candyland. Yeah. They got damned. Uh. We need her, and we need a bill of sale. Well, if we ain't gonna try to buy it, how are we gonna get her? Can you convincingly masquerade as someone who's an expert on mandingo fighting? Wow. What the hell's mandingo fighting? That's another slur for black people. Oh, okay. Mandingo. Oh, okay. Ain't nothing lower than a black slaver. Oh, yeah, I got it. A black slaver is lowered in the head house, nigga. And, buddy, that's pretty fucking low. Hmm. Django, this is Mr. Candy's lawyer, Leonid Moby. Just call me Leo. And he prefers Monsieur Candy to Mr. Candy. Si c'est cela qu'il préfère. He doesn't speak French. Don't speak French to him. Oh, he just... Just yeah. pretentious about it. Yeah. Why do you want to get in the Mandingo business? Ah. I'm bored. This seems like a good bit of fun. There he is. Oh, is this where this comes from? The meme? Oh my god, that's everywhere. There's a good few memes that he spawned. Yeah, but with this face and the right from in. here? Yeah. Yep. Jesus. Ah, oh, he's not doing what I told him. For God's sake. Oh, is that okay? Franco Nero? Yeah. I heard that, but I'm not looking at it. Mm hmm. Go on, finish it. That's why they call him Big Fred. What's your name? Django. The D is silent. <laughs> I know. Hmm. Yeah, the old and the new. Huh? Well, because he played, uh, Franco Nero was, was Django oh, back in the day. Oh, okay. That's what he's like, I know. Ah, okay. How much would you say, Django? Twelve thousand dollars. Well, gentlemen, you had my curiosity, but now you have my attention. Here's mm -hmm. another meme. Uh. Oh, now you were one lucky nigger. Oh, I'm gonna go walking in the moonlight with you. You wanna hold my hand? <laughs> hmm. Where are they going? To uh, Candyland, back to his place. Oh, oh, okay. Wow, they really run the gamut with the music in this one. They do, yeah. 
Mm. Yeah, because they're... You got a problem with your eyeball, boy? Oh, sir. You want to... Like I said, you know, black slaver yeah. is much lower than the head house slave. Yeah, I can imagine. You mind telling me what the hell you doing? I confirmed that Pumhill is at Candyland. Oh, you gotta hold your hold it together when you get there. What you said was was that this is my world, and in my world you gotta get dirty. So that's what I'm doing. I'm getting dirty. Well, you paraphrasing a tad, but. <laughs> That was a general gist. Because here there's nobody to, to bounty, right? So it's mm. not like they can use that as a cover. And, you know, Django knows more about slaves than, than yeah, King does. That's right, yeah. Mm. How long was he loose? That. Hey. That's all not. Half the other night. Excuse me, Candy. I ain't got it in me no nah, more. No, 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 begging. Seeing as you won't pay a penny for this picking any here, you won't mind me handling this nigga any way I see fit. Mr. Stone Sifel? That Marsha and a bitch is sending uh, Candy to make a hell Yeah. <laughs> Looking at him right in the eyes, eh? Testing him. Yeah. The boss looks a little green around the gills for a blood sport like nigga fighting. Nah. He just ain't used to seeing a man ripped apart by dogs, is all. You are used to it. I'm just a little more used to Americans than he is. <laughs> Follow me. Uh, good job, Django. Yeah. I'm going to go throw up. Ugh. Well, and the sad thing is, he would have used to seeing this sort of thing just as a yeah, lifelong slave, yeah. and and these are the traditions that all these like neo-Nazi shitheads are trying to celebrate yeah, these days. Yeah, you know, you're just trying to you know sh sh shut down my culture, my ancestors. Yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. There's yeah, a reason this why. It, yeah. <laughs> oh. <gasps> Him. Yep. Hello, Stephen, my boy. Who this nigga up on that nag? Oh, Stephen, you have nails for breakfast. <laughs> Who this nigga on that nag? Hey, Snowball. You wanna know my name or the name of my horse? You ask me. Name my horse. Feisty. Django, he is a freeman. This nigga here? That nigga there. <laughs> He's gonna stay in the big house? Steven, he's a slaver. <laughs> the voice. In the big house. Well, you got a problem with that. Now, where is my beautiful sister? <laughs> is that the one that was. Yeah, oh, Charlie, come on out. Let's go. Come on, you back. You know where it is? Like you on a rope. And being afraid your whole life. Oh, God. Hmm. Go fetch Hill to get her cleaned up and smell them real nice and sent over to Dr. Schultz. <laughs> Actually, Mitch, your candy, sir. Uh oh. Uh, Hill in the hot box. The hell's a hot box? What'd she do? She run off again. When did she go? Last night. They, they brought her back this morning. And the little bitch got 10 more days being there. What is the point of having a nigga that speaks German if you can't <laughs> wheel him out when you have a German guest? <laughs> so she, we have to be careful because she's got a, she's gonna recognize him, right? So, uh, God, I hope it's her. It's gotta be her. It's like in Taken when Brian was looking for Kim. Yeah, yeah. Oh. Is that her? That's her face. That's her. Okay, hang on, man. Mm-hmm. Oh. Jesus. Yeah, he'll have to tell her, the doctor, right? To say when you see him, don't yeah. react. Go ahead, girl. Speak a little German. Es wäre mir ein Vergnügen, mit dir auf Deutsch zu sprechen. Astonishing. And I shall bring. Much obliged. 
Ich spreche jetzt nur für den Fall mit Ihnen Deutsch, dass Candys Leute uns zuhören. Ein gemeinsamer Freund von uns beiden, viele Meilen geritten, um sie zu finden, mein Freund. He's like, what? Who are you? <laughs> hey, little troublemaker. <sighs> yeah, she's gonna faint. Oh. <sighs> you silver tongued devil, you. <laughs> <laughs> uh. Oh, Monsieur Condé, you can't imagine what it's like not to hear your native tongue in four years. Well, hell, I can't imagine two weeks in Boston. <laughs> Two weeks in Baltimore. It looks like this pony's got big eyes for Django. Uh -oh. <laughs> so down on yourself. You are quite the deaf of European gentleman. You got to clean these dishes, you got to clean. Mm. You know that nigga, don't you? I don't know him. You don't know him. You wouldn't lie to me now, would you? You see, it wasn't me who came to you to sell a nigga. Show what? It was you who approached me to buy one. Show what? Oh, he's like a parrot sitting on his shoulder. Like Iago for, yeah. for Jafar. Yeah. You know, Miss Your Candy, mm. the doctor here might be interested in seeing Hilti's peel back, seeing how they don't have many niggas where he come from. Hilti, oh, yeah. go on, take off your dress. Show Doc your shoulder back. Sakes. Once you lose a goddamn mind. Sure Look at that, doctor. It's like a painting. Look at that. Calvin! So even she's like. Yeah. It would take so much willpower oh, not to kill everyone in that room. But he knows. He's like a black white person. Right? Kind of, yeah. Allow me to propose another proposition. I'm all he is. Hurry up, goddammit! Handle it myself. Mm -hmm. Put me in the library. I just can't understand. Them motherfuckers ain't here to buy no mandingos. They wants that girl. He looks nice and comfortable in the chair. Yeah. With the fine wines and the... Yeah, what's his deal? That 12,000? That made you real friendly now. He sure is observant. Mm -hmm. Sons of bitches! Out of New Orleans. Before your exit, we were discussing the possibility of my purchasing Brunhilde. This is Ben. Oh, Ben here took care of my daddy and my daddy's daddy. If I was old Ben, I would have cut my daddy's goddamn throat, but he never did. Why not? Well, you spend a lifetime in fear, conditioned, Science, you know, yeah. to obey yeah. orders. Like, yeah. What, what, what's he going to do if he does that? Fucking phrenology. Jesus Christ. Uh, you know what that is? I heard it. It's blood? It, it's blood, isn't no, it? No. No. It's a racist pseudoscience. Uh, that they have a different brain or something? Skull, so, like the shape skull. of it. By looking at the structure, you can tell, you know, the that a black person is more submissive and a white person is more uh, superior. And... Okay. That uh, bullshit. Yeah. Yeah. And in the skull of old Ben, these three dimples exist in the area of the skull most associated with civility. Wow. Yeah. Hey! Now lay your palms flat on that tabletop! If you lift those palms off that turtle shell tabletop, Mr. Pooch is gonna let loose with both barrels that sawed off. Where were we? Did he cut himself? Mm-hmm. DiCaprio actually cut his hand on the glass. Oh, okay. And he I kept, kept going. going. Bring out Hildy! Oh, no. Ah! Shut your ass in that gun! Ah! Lay your hand flat on that table. Oh, shut your mouth! Boom, Hildy here is my property. And I can choose to do with my property whatever I so desire. For this nigga here... Yeah. It's too mm. steep. Oh! I your memory and beat her ass to death with that twill. Gold! Ah! To the man with 
the exceptional beard and his unexceptional nigger. If you care to join me in the parlor, we will be serving white cake. I felt like I was getting beaten up with the strength of DiCaprio's acting. Oh, God, yeah. I mean, he was... <laughs> and he was bleeding on set, yeah. and he still went forward. Like, oh, he's not just going to let them get away like this. There's no way. Mm. Would haunt you forever. Mm-hmm. Well, normal people. Yeah. Could you please stop playing Beethoven? Take your hands off the harp. Alexandre Dumas, he wrote The Three Musketeers. I figured you must be an admirer. You named your slave after his novel's lead character. Alexandre Dumas is black. Got something up his sleeve, I hope. Mm. Literally. <laughs> One more moment, Doctor. What? That easy, he's gonna kill him. Once a business deal is concluded that oh, the two man. parties shake hands. Oh, you fuck. You really want me to shake your hand? I insist. God, such a punchable face. Yeah. Careful, he's gonna shoot you. Jesus Christ. <laughs> shoot him! Yes! Up right his through the flower. Up his sleeve. Yes! I thought. He might have it up his sleeve. Why didn't his guy shoot, though? Well, they're also shocked. Okay, okay now, quick, while he turns. Uh-oh. I'm sorry. I couldn't resist. Oh, damn. Come on, Janko. There you go. That guy, too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, keep shooting him. <laughs> yeah. He keeps shooting the guy. Why is he doing that? He's a terrible shot. Uh. Time to take out the trash. Yeah, that's right. White trash. <laughs> oh, God. Yep. What Kill Bill did with swords, this does with oh. guns. Oh. Uh. Stay in the wardrobe. Won't see ya. We got your woman! Billy Crash here got his pistol upside her head. Well, that guy, shit. Mm-hmm. Uh, honest engine, Django, I swear for oh God. Trust you as far as I can throw you. Yeah. I said, I give up. Oh, shit, eh? Yeah. What the hell? Mm. <sighs> <laughs> Time to say goodnight to them nuts, Black. Cap, <laughs> Miss Law won't see you. Oh, and she changed her mind about snipping Django. She gonna give him to the Laquent Dicky people. You gonna be a good guy in the end here? The niggas we sell to Laquent Dicky got it worse than that. Miss Laura, come up with the bright idea of giving your ass to the LaQuint Dickey Mining Company. After he brought it up. Mm-hmm. One word of sass, they cuts out your tongue. They good at it, too. You won't bleed out. And that will be the story of you, Django. Hmm. It's over, almost. Just about. Can hold my... Some Johnny Cash. Mm-hmm. Boy, the music is sure varied. Mm-hmm. Oh, uh, there he is. Yep. Shut up, Black. You ain't got nothing to say I want to hear. How'd you... Australian. <laughs> that was $11,500 fortune. Just sitting there. You be damn Blackie. We're not bandits. I ain't saying that. 
Oh, I'm going to be Australian. Yeah. How am I doing this scene? <laughs> Who the fuck is Smitty Bacall? Smitty Bacall is the leader of this murderous gang of stagecoach drivers, the Bacall Gang. They already got those guys. Mm-hmm. Uh, remember he gave him that one to keep as his first one. Mm-hmm. Good proof, though, eh? Instead of him just saying. Yep. I sound like a fucking slave. Seven thousand dollars for Smitty back. Oh, shit, life. I'm a bounty hunter. Then everybody there decided to blame me. So here I am. There's Michael Parks. Oh yeah. <laughs> Is he a Candyman slave, or did he ride in with a white man? Mm. He rode in on a horse with a white man. He wasn't no slave. You, you fucking sure about that? Damn sure. Fuck me, Roy. I mean, this this could be big, mate. <laughs> All sounds good. I've just had the sights fixed, and they're perfect. Oh, that's good to know. Oh! <laughs> Nicely done. Holy shit. He talked his way wow, out of being he in blew chains. Up a and, hole in the ground. and he blew up Tarantino. Yeah. <laughs> Yep. Yeah. He's like, you son of a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh. Yep. Right in the. Right in the Johnson. <laughs> oh, that's that little house before the rest of the. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. Take that. Oh, he was his friend. Don't worry, honey, he's coming for you. Your Siegfried is coming. Yeah. Okay, it's okay, it's okay. It's me, baby. Huh. Well, that's kind of a neat shot, eh? Mm-hmm. Might have to repaint. Yeah. By and by, oh. Mm. Y'all gonna be together with Calvin in the by and by. He's wearing Calvin's clothes. Ooh. Billy Crash. Oh. Now, where were oh. Right in the nuts. Last time I seen oh. you, oh. you yes. had your hands on me. Right there. Yeah. Oh. oh. <laughs> God. Did Jane go? You Did fat son you? of a bitch! The D is silent here, baby. Oh, <laughs> all you black folks, I suggest you get away from all these white folks. Not you, Stephen. Yeah. Bye, Miss Laura. <laughs> Y'all two run along now. Damn dresses. <laughs> yeah. The bustle. Yeah. The, take like six hours to get dressed. Yeah. What's his deal? I count six shots, nigga. I count two guns, nigga. Oh, God. Ooh. <laughs> 76 years, Steven. Now really needs the king. Yeah. <laughs> They gonna catch your black ass. You gonna be on the wanted posters now, nigga. The body hunters gonna be looking for you. They gonna do to your ass. They ain't gonna just kill you, nigga. Oh, yeah, the dynamite he brought with him. Mm-hmm. With Calvin's cigarette. Yeah, he's like he's drank the Kool-Aid, eh? All uh. those years and... But I guess... I don't know. <laughs> so they're both free. You know what they're going to call you? The fastest gun in the South. Aww. You were a good man, Dr. King. Yes. <laughs> oh, boy. 
Okay, I had a good ending then. No horses were harmed. Yeah, because they shot a couple of them. Yeah. The Speck Brothers. Tarantino. Yeah. He was the one that got to blow up. Yeah. Alrighty. Okay, wow. That Jane. was a real roller coaster. Hey? Without a doubt, the most like brutal of his films. I'll yeah, say. it's tough to watch. Because right? like it's... as as bloody and as as you know, killy as all of his films mm -hmm. are, like in most scenarios, it's like gangsters or criminals yeah. or fighters like people who can fight back or kill yes. each other or like yeah. like in, in bastards when like like i said it was it was soldiers and spies people who were like equal or just into yeah. situation this was just helpless people being maimed brutalized. and brutalized yeah. and yeah. butchered yeah yeah so it is quite tough yeah. to get through which is what happened but like mm -hmm. i said earlier i think off camera that how hard it must have been for the actors and stuff and Mm -hmm. all of all of it yeah yeah Just some of it was tough but i liked the way they did it I, yeah. yeah and i was surprised christoph waltz was i kept waiting for the other shoe yeah because my you know you've told everybody my first experience with him as legend of tarzan legend and then of tarzan, and, and then we saw him as blofeld and in, in bond yes where yeah. another villain so character. the villain ones and 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 so like in tarzan he was just yeah very despicable and very like personal and yeah, very just like even, twisted yeah, yeah. but yeah. it's funny because uh, like i said earlier like the last Tar tarantino film was bastards where he played mm -hmm. a nazi yeah and then he goes right here to this film playing like the most moral character in yes. the entire movie yeah like yeah. it's just such a shift and he's just he's so he's like so good at it right so i love his character and he's so delightful so, yeah. just to watch like that first half of, of the movie when it's just him like yeah teaching Django how to Django. read from a wanted poster yeah. telling him stories like i love just like jamie fox kind of like yeah like a kid at separate at, yeah. at story time he never had that right yeah. but like the learning the bounty hunting trade i could watch a mm -hmm. whole movie about just that yeah i love their chemistry yeah. together yeah and then it's just so tough to get through those parts right of it you is know, yeah yeah Gives me a stomachache. Yeah. So another point of connection between Tarantino's films. So he played Dr. King Schultz here. Mm -hmm. And if you re remember in Kill Bill Part 2, when Uma Thurman is, is buried alive, mm -hmm. she is placed in the grave of Paula yes, Schultz. right. That would be Dr. King's wife. Oh, for heaven's sake. Wow. Yeah. And also, according to Tarantino, this, this is just like his personal thing, not like official. Oh, okay. But yeah. According to Tarantino... Django and Broomhilda are the ancestors of Shaft. Ah. Because her na last name was Von Shaft. Yeah, right. Ah, okay. The badass mother. Shut yeah. your mouth. Yeah. So that was kind of a neat little, little thing I was Richard Roundtree Shaft. Richard Roundtree. Yeah. And Who he passed, passed away, away just, just recently. Yeah, yeah right. But, but it's like these are like, you know, his ancestors. So like badassery runs oh, in the yeah, gene pool. Right, yeah. And funny enough, Sam Jackson, I think, was in one of the Shaft like movies as like the son of Shaft or yeah, something. So yeah, it's yeah. another point of connection. Yeah. And but, you can, I could think some of these actors, especially, well, both at the end there, wouldn't have done this movie probably if there wasn't a good ending to it. Right. Yeah. And they read the script and stuff. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you know, speaking of, you, know, you got, you know, Sam Jackson, who's arguably the villain of the whole thing. Yes. What the hell? Because the very first time we see him, he's signing a check and yeah. he has a stamp that has Calvin's name on it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So he's. So, and and uh, as we saw, he is much more clever and observant than Calvin ever yeah. was. Yeah. So we can say that he's like the puppet master. He's running. Pulling yeah. the strings. Yes. And, and also like with when we first meet him, how like. Like zealously, he's all but like, oh, he's up on this nag. You're living in the big house. Like yeah. he, he goes yeah. over the top. Exactly, way over. But you can almost say that that's a, a strategy to ingratiate himself with the, the white slave owners. Well, and I think that's exactly to, what he did over the years, right? To get into to their, maintain his position. Their graces and because look that, at the end, he just threw that cane away. He yes, wasn't, playing yeah. up the. Oh yeah. Because every time Calvin said something, he would laugh his ass off. Yes. If it, uh, he yeah. would, he would echo what he said, like you said, like a parrot. Yeah. yeah. So it's like a way to kind of maintain his privileged position mm -hmm. as the head house. He learned slave. that probably from his, yeah. Because like like Django said, that. you know, the only thing lower than or like the, the lowest thing is like is a black black slave. slavery. But then there's yeah, the black slavery. Because I think like historically, historically that was like a common thing. Like the ones who were had to work on the field and were whipped and burned yeah. and everything, they looked on with a lot of hatred and envy at the one yeah. at the house slaves. Of course, yeah, yeah. And then and Stephen is like a just very interesting. He's he's playing up that whole like uncle tom's cabin yeah, kind of persona yeah, yeah but it's all a front like we saw like he throws the yeah, cane away and he's very away. well at the end of that meet me in the library like yeah. yeah when he couldn't convince him to come in and talk about dessert and... so on on the surface mm -hmm. uh, it, it seems like it's a like a caricature like a very you know of like a you know black slave character yeah. but when you peel back the layers 
he's secretly like the one in control the whole yeah, time. Yeah. I thought at the end, well, close to the end there, he was going to, when he was starting to close everything up, when he mm. told him that, oh, she changed her mind about what she wanted the to do The mining company, with him, yeah. That he, when he was closing everything up, that he was going to, you know, let him get away mm. or something, right? But no, yeah. he, right to the end, he stayed. Yeah. And, you know, DiCaprio, that was a hell of a performance yeah. there. Jeez. Yeah, he... Especially when he switched, right? When he found out what was going on. Yes. Yeah. When in, he said cut himself, it's like, you're bleeding, but he didn't even notice that. I know, yeah. It, it's crazy. Like, he actually cut himself in the hand, like, mm -hmm. smashing the glass, and yeah. he went through, I believe, to the rest of the, the rest of the scene in character, and went, and then, like, as soon as the Tarantino said cut, like, everyone applauded yeah. from, like, the strength of yeah. everything, and so, like, it, it, I believe it's his blood uh, on Carrie Washington's oh, face. I was like, going to say, that was probably, with her, let's just go with it, right? Her and then the next scene in the library had a thing yeah. around his hand, so, yeah. Yeah, he, yeah, in particular, he had an extraordinarily difficult time playing this character, Did because he, he's okay. such a vile character, and all, yeah. dropping all those N-bombs. And words and I mean that word is must have been said a hundred thousand exactly whatever times in here. But but then uh, at one point you know he like he just couldn't go through with with the scenes because he was just so like reviled by the character. So that, that must that, be hard. Yeah. Sam Jackson had to had to actually take him aside and and essentially he said yeah. you know motherfucker this is just a Tuesday for us get it together yeah, yeah. and you know just if we can do it you can bloody well do it yeah. Man. Yeah, I remember seeing, uh, I think it was either Charlie Rose or someone else, but it was like Sam Jackson in like an interview talk about like Tarantino and other stuff. But just the clip I saw was like, you know, do you think like is Tar Quentin Tarantino a racist? Mm -hmm. And so Sam Jackson replied that he isn't because over the years, like they've done a lot of movies together. And he said the roles that he's given him, Sam Jackson, mm -hmm. like people of like intelligence, people of like, you know, when, the, when they're good guys, like mm -hmm. they're emotional, when they're villains, there's depth to them. He said like, that is something, something a racist would not do. That's right. Cause like yeah. the whole point of the movie is to show the evils of slavery. Yes, exactly. Like a racist yeah. would not, would not do, tell yeah. that kind no, of a story. That's right. Yeah. You know, and just with like how he's able to write such kick-ass like female characters mm -hmm. who go through absolute mm -hmm. shit. Black characters who go through absolute shit, mm -hmm. particularly, particularly in this story. Like, I mean, the, the guy is very controversial, but like he, yeah. you know, and we did get in the very end. We did get the feet in. She was laying on the bed. A <laughs> little bit. A little bit. You always have to get them bit, a little, little bit. bit. Yeah. Yeah. So some a little bit more than others, but there wasn't really a place, another place in this movie that that opportunity presented no, really at all. Like so. a lot of the time, we're like outdoors, so people are wearing like boots and mm -hmm, outdoor mm -hmm. jackets and such. And then inside, like like I said, like the women with like the you know the yeah the, big the ten foot. And yeah. long dresses that takes yeah. you like you know it's like all those jokes people make about like back in the day like victorian era like for mm. people to get freaky in the bedroom yeah. <laughs> they just spent like two hours unbuttoning everything and <laughs> tying everything in. Yeah. yeah but yeah django and shane mm. uh, nice little, like i say like homage to the older kind of sp yeah. spaghetti westerns and mm -hmm. that nice little tarantino flair you know yeah. and yeah. you know a as brutal as it was it's a very very satisfying ending yes but yeah. christoph waltz and and uh DiCaprio in particular are, are kind of the standouts in terms mm. of the their performance. Like that whole, you know, when he finds out when it, when he's like cuts his hand and yelling at them, like yeah. DiCaprio, like he just like he like grabs your shirt and like demands your yeah. attention on the screen. Yeah, oh yeah, yeah. Like Christoph Waltz last movie, mm. like you know, with mm. like extended monologue. Yeah, and you're yeah. just so tense through the, the, that whole ta dinner table scene. Yeah, and yeah, Tarantino is just like a master of tension mm -hmm. that way. I mean, it's too bad that Christoph Waltz characters got killed. Yeah, but I understand it had to. Be. Absolutely, no. At least he got things rolling for him. He, he for did. Jamie. Yeah. yeah. Like you know, he gave Django his freedom and yeah, you know helped yeah. give him the tools yeah. to rescue his wife. Yeah. But but then like you could say for the greater good, like just you know swallow your tongue, shake his hand, get out of there. Yeah. But yeah. at the same time, he did a service to humanity, and it's just yeah. like how many of us like he was being so smug, like I insist. Oh god, yeah. Like with that, and did you see his, his teeth? Teeth were terrible. Yeah, yeah. Like I know, like dental st hygienic standards back in like. Well, which which he would. That's the thing I find about these movies is hard. Like Jamie Jamie Fox's teeth pearly white right i mean in those days nobody would have had good teeth right it's, yeah so that's the one thing they, they uh, sort yeah. of laid that all out a, all a little the time bit on. yeah but, but uh, yet he yet um, dicaprio. dicaprio had the bad teeth and he's got all the money yeah you can almost say it like a, i sort of look and at the it doctor's it. a dentist he could have said something there and said <laughs> exactly. this, i'll give you a free teeth cleaning or yeah something. i sort of look at it as kind of like visual language of like just a, a, another way of showing like the vileness of his character yeah, like you know, he has bad teeth. Yeah. like in the older movies when like the villain was always dressed in black the hero was yeah. dressed in white it's yeah. like a storytelling way yeah. of like yeah 
this is a terrible character. Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> Hell of a movie. Yeah. Yep. So thank you guys so much for joining us for this one. It was a tough time for mom. So let's give it yeah, up for, you know, for getting I through it. through. So, yeah. yeah. You know, this is like the, you know, the, the roughest state of being you could be in a Tarantino film. Yeah. But so yeah, thanks once again for joining us. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed. If you want to watch the full length, I'll leave a link to our Patreon below. Mm. Check out this and all the other movies and shows we do. We've got a lot of exclusives that aren't on YouTube. Check those out too. Yes. If you enjoyed what you saw, please like and subscribe. It really helps us out, helps the channel grow. So we'd really appreciate it. Thank you so much for all your support. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, that's all we have for you today. So we will see you later. Bye, guys. Bye.